hello guys welcome back to my videos and in this video we are going to talk about what it is eigrp authentication and how we can authenticate um eigrp packets over the over an interface so you can prevent your router from receiving bad or like fraudulent route updates by configuring a neighbor router authentication you can configure eigrp neighbor authentication also call neighbor router authentication or route authentication such that routers can participate in routing based on predefined passwords and this is due we have to do this because by default no authentication is used on for eigrp packets so you can configure eigrp um, to use md5 authentication all right and you can prevent your router like i said i already said that you to delete that <laughs> so yeah what we're going to do in this video is configure um, authentication for ERGRP so let's go ahead and go to router 1 config terminal and the first command that you have to do is key keychain oops keychain and now we have to give it a name let's give it a test right and this name does not need to match router 2 because it is only um, locally it's only it's only locally so it's not like global it's not like r2 is going to use um, this keychain name test so it is only for router 1 to know that so router 2 if you configure the keychain you can put it whatever name you want it doesn't matter it doesn't need to match router 1 so over here what we need to do is key and we have to have a key identifier and we can just give it a key 1 and now in here uh, for key 1 what we have to do is give it a key string and we are going to do is put a password now so the password we can just leave it as or put it set it up as Cisco so that's good now we have a, a keychain and now that keychain needs to be attached to the um, EIGRP MD5 and to, for us to do that we have to go to to enable that authentication we need to go to the interface and the interface that I want to have that authentication is interface gigabit zero slash zero on router one. Okay. Exit. Interface gigabit. And now, to what we're going to do is tell. Now we're going to tell the this interface to use IP authentication mode. All right. So let's go ahead and do IP authentication. And now. We have to give it a keychain. Keychain. And now we are going to use EIGRP. And what EIGRP number? So our autonomous system. So we, which EIGRP number are we going to give? And the one that we are that we have been using for all the networks is EIGRP 100, 100. And now we have to give that key chain name, which I believe I name it. What was it? Key chain test, right here. Key chain test. Okay. And this is telling. Um, this is telling EIGRP that if you ever choose um, to have authentication, please use MD5. All right. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's go back because I forgot to. Let's go ahead. Okay. So first, we need to IP of the authentication. We have to give it a mode first. ERGRP, the ERGRP that we're going to use, or the AS that we're going to use is 100. And which one is that we're going to use for um, authentication for encrypt? To encrypt the password is going to be MD5. Okay, and now what this is telling ERG ERGRP is that 
if you ever choose to authenticate let's please use ND5 to authenticate all right so let's go ahead and enable that and after that what we need to do is IP authentication keychain yeah your IP 100 and test Press that test which is this keychain that we just created where is it right here keychain test which has a password of Cisco and what this does is since um, what this is doing is telling the IGRP where to get that password from and we are telling it to use the keychain name test to get that password and there it is so now let's see so we should now have as you can see right here um, the neighbor went down because it cannot authenticate with ERP so we are not going to receive any packets from this neighbor anymore so if you're going in show IP route ERGRP okay we have one two and one we have two and three let's do an IP no show IP yeah your IP neighbors and we do not have any neighbors right now because we cannot authenticate with router 2 so what we need to do is go to router 2 and configure that authentication and add the same password as router 1 so we can create that neighbor relationship again and as you can see right here um, the neighbor relationship is down because authentication fail so let's go ahead and do the same here enable config terminal and over here we have to give it a keychain let's give it a name it doesn't need to match the same as router one like I said before so let's give it a keychain X and now key one key string which is a password it needs to be the same as this one or else it won't work so Cisco now let's exit exit again and now let's add that to this interface interface we got zero slash zero and now what we need to do from here is do IP authenticate mode yeah, GRP 100 which is the AS or autonomous system that we're using for ERP which is 100 which we use across the my entire network so ERGRP 100 and MD5 and this is telling ERGRP if it's going to use authentication to place use MD5 so now the next is IP authentication keychain ERGRP 100 and we are going to use that keychain X to retrieve the password which we created which was Cisco over here and here we go and as you can see now we have a neighbor relationship because we were able to authenticate using um, keychain X which has the password Cisco and over here we use keychain test which has the same or is it which has the same password as Cisco okay so that's great oh and if you want to make sure that it is, it is really working there it is um, neighbors 10.1.1.2 and we should be able to ping router 4 from here and there it is okay so this is how you authenticate ERGRP and thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next one bye bye